Now for our last song, we're going to try Tommy Johnson's Maggie Campbell Blues. This uh, song is in a different tuning, uh, what uh, musicians call uh, Spanish tuning. And uh, it's uh, an open tuning, open chord, uh, open G tuning, or you can do it in A, depending whether you tune some of the strings higher or lower. Uh, from standard tuning, I tune three of the strings uh, lower. So the first string is D instead of being E. It's tuned down uh, a whole step. And then the second string remains B. And the third string remains as G. The fourth string remains as D, just as in standard tuning. And then the fifth string is uh, lowered uh, from A down to G. And the sixth string is also lowered, just like we lowered it for Big Road Blues and uh, Canned Heat Blues. It's also down in D. And here's your G up here, high G, up on the fifth fret. So, one thing to notice is that these two strings, the fourth and the sixth, are once again in parallel octaves, but they're not the uh, tonic note of the song. Uh, they're the uh, fifth or the uh, dominant note. But still, uh, just as in Big Road Blues, uh, Tommy uh, took advantage of these parallel octaves to come up the scale. Like that. Uh, in uh, this song, we can go down the scale in the bass register the same way. All with the thumb. So let's do the Maggie Campbell blues. I'm going to show you some different uh, variations that uh, musicians uh, played uh, who knew Tommy Johnson and that they attributed to him.
hear me calling you. Where your three times seven and you know what you want to do. Well, I can't tell my future now. some elements of Willie Brown uh, thrown in there. If you listen to Willie Brown's future blues, you'll hear a lot of similarities, especially that snapping in the bass. It's hard to sound too bad uh, in this uh, piece because, of course, you've got all these open strings and chords, so uh, you can make mistakes, and uh, sometimes people won't notice them in there. And uh, you start out like this. So try to get that rhythm. fifth fret with your bar chord be sure to get that slide in there and then with your little finger and this chord here the middle finger on the third string at the second fret index finger up here at the the, on the second string at the first fret, it's kind of a, a like a D seventh chord in standard tuning, but uh, this note is your D, so you don't need to have a finger on that except for your melodic uh, line. Again, I played the basic part for you. difficult if you keep the rhythm 
in mind. You gotta hold the guitar real tight uh, to get that percussive effect. So this uh, thumb here is always pushing against the neck and your fingers are pushing against it uh, as they uh, fret the notes. coming down. That's just parallel on the fourth and sixth strings. So uh, the uh, on beat is on the fourth string and the offbeat is on the sixth string, just as it was in big road blues uh, when you're uh, playing it or snapping the strings. So, uh, and you can uh, play a uh, varying part if you want to play the bass part. Uh, in fact, uh, you could play two parts together if you have two guitarists, or even better, uh, put a capo on the second fret here or tune into open A if you prefer and play the part of Big Fat Mama Blues uh, along with this. Again, two guitar parts. Uh, that's what Charlie Patton and Willie Brown did on Patton's famous piece, uh, Moon Going Down. <laughs> hard as it might seem at first, uh, but, uh, this part is uh, pretty easy. So you're getting that constant uh, chord while the bass is moving down. This bass variation. You do a different thing when you slide. Slide up like this. Catch that note with your little finger. And then come over the top of the third uh, fret. Like that. And you can snap those notes uh, with the thumb. get it just keep the sound in your head and uh, the notes will come to you because there's not that much uh, really going on in the uh, left hand I was just finding uh, the notes uh, you got the open chord and then you got other notes in it those are your main other notes uh, anyway and then this position Now, um, there's one little break that uh, Tommy Johnson didn't uh, record, but uh, other s singers uh, have, and that's going way up here to the 12th fret. Uh, it uh, helps to have a 14 fret neck. Uh, in fact, it helps to have a cutaway, uh, but uh, I don't think Tommy Johnson had that in the early days. Maybe uh, in his late career, he 
had one. But anyway, I'm going to do it with this old 14 fret neck here. So. finish the all right I'm gonna play the piece all the way through for you Well, I've been your rider 
is what you want to do.